I'm Sir Tap Tap, and as a lazy person with not enough time, I'm nothing if not resourceful, so... One thing I've been meaning to do for a long time is make kind of like the weekly update little videos on, you know, what I've been playing, what's going on, and uh, something people always ask for is more Abyssrium videos, so I realized what I should do. Make a little weekly update video on whatever's new in Abyssrium and whatever's new on the channel, kind of combine it into one. And that way, you know, you, you hopefully won't miss any, you know, Abyssrium videos. So I'll go over whatever's been new in the last week, if I made any new videos, and, um, just talk about what I've been playing in general. So, first I'll always start with the Abyssrium stuff, so you don't have to panic. I know people love to spam the comments. And I will say about the comments, like, I, I do get a little bit annoyed at the, at the, um, Abyssrium comments. And it's usually not any one person spamming, but, like, when 30 different people spam basically the same comment, it's it's still frustrating. But anyway, as you can clearly see in game, there's a little timer there that says, "Yep, the July event is ending in five days," even though it's you know the end of August. Um, I do believe that they're still intending to keep by the monthly thing. This event just seems to have been hit by hitches left and right because they were supposed to start it earlier than they did. They were supposed to end it late or earlier than they did. Um, so I'm pretty sure the schedule is monthly events and I'm almost certain the next event starts on September. As always, we don't know anything about what the next event's gonna be. It's a pretty good guess that it's gonna repeat the fall event and have like some new vaguely fall related fish. Hello, Parker. Thanks, thanks for jumping on my shoulder there. Um, so yeah, it'll probably be a fall event. Hopefully the Star Stripe Marlin is not such a disaster, because it was last year. That was scary. Um, but yeah, the last fall event was much cheaper than the anniversary event, so I certainly hope that trend continues, because holy crap. Um, other than that, not too much to talk about in Abyssrium. I have a couple videos out there on the subscription puffin. I would really suggest just not getting the puffin. The puffin, for those unaware, is like their their monthly subscription kind of thing. You can pay, you know, $30 a month to, to get a stupid puffin. Or 21 It's it's a lot. Yeah, $21 a month for the stupid puffin. And it's basically just a gashapon that gives you expand items that you could just get otherwise. Uh, there's nothing that unique that it brings. And you lose the puffin when it goes away. But I have a whole video on the puffin. Uh, a couple people found themselves unable to cancel the Puffin subscription. They got charged incorrectly. So I would really just recommend not getting, not even getting the free trial. It's bad. It's real bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for new Abyssrium stuff. Get out of here, platypus! I need, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna remove that, honestly. But yeah, oh wait, no, it's in this. I don't know why they don't just put the camera and stuff buttons in this menu. Seems kind of unnecessary. Let's get rid of that. Nobody needs to see that. Hi, Parker. Yes. Um, so that's pretty much it for Abyssrium for now. Uh, looking forward to the next event. I really hope we don't have any more two month long events because this game, uh, well, once you've gotten the thousand year old blue whale, which I got like a year ago at this point, um, there's really nothing to do except for the events. So I really hope they keep the events flowing. Um, be yeah, we'll just have to see when that is. So, as far as what I've been playing, um, obviously not too much of this because it's, you know, nothing to do. Uh, I've been playing a lot of that Star Ocean mobile game, Star Ocean and Amnesis. That's pretty good. Um, I've been, I've been a fan of that so far. Um, you can get quite a lot of stuff without, you gotta grind a lot of multiplayer missions, but the multiplayer is pretty fun, and I'm kind of surprised to see such a good implementation of real-time multiplayer kind of action RPG stuff on mobile, and it looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah. I got all of the summer characters, so I have, I've got all of the limited characters that I wanted so far. I've only been playing for, like, two weeks, but yeah. I, I got, I actually had a video that I have to go and re-edit, because I didn't get the one character that I wanted, then I got her, like, immediately after the video. Um... But yeah, that's been pretty good. Still been enjoying Food Fantasy a lot. I've been meaning to expand that guide a lot more, so I'll probably have some more written guides and um, some video guides eventually for that game, too. Food Fantasy is the, the... I got a lot of Food Fantasy videos, so I'm sure if you want to check that out, just, just see those videos. It's one of those games where you think it's a joke and you just want to play it just to see the joke, but it turns out there's actually a solid game under there, and I think that's a valid, you know, way of advertising your game, get people interested, and then hook them when it's like, oh... This isn't actually that stupid after all. 
I think that's kind of neat. Um, so I've been playing that. I've been playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp still. It's been a very mobile week lately. I got... I don't know. This just hasn't been a lot of big name games that I've been very interested in. Uh, I have still been playing La Mulana somewhat. I got I got so lost, I kind of wanted to take a break in La Mulana too. So I've been taking a break on that. Mother Gunship did get an update, so there's a co-op thing in that. I would like to do a co-op stream in Mother Gunship. But that's the other thing I kind of wanted to announce in this video. Mediacom's just been such a pain. I've just been kind of down on the idea of streaming, and I just kind of want to see if it settles down. And I'll do some tests and stuff and see if things work all right. I'm thinking maybe I'll do streams, but I won't, like, I won't schedule them ahead of time for the most part. Because, like, then people just get disappointed. So if you want to see when I do streams, either um, follow me on Twitter or click that notification bell. Make sure that bell is on and you're subscribed, obviously. And you should get notifications whenever I go streaming. Um, there's also a message posted automatically in my Discord server. And if you're not in my Discord, just go to sirtapdab.com slash Discord. There's a link to that. And uh, we're a pretty chill place, pretty well moderated. Not that we really have many moderation issues, but um, we keep the jerks out. We keep the nice people in as much as we can. Um, kind of like the comments here. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to say comments. I, I kind of lean on the heavier side of moderation just because, like, when people see crap comments on videos, they're like, oh... This is the place to pee on. This is this is garbage town. I could just be an idiot here, and I really don't want to encourage that. So I, the, the relatively few, like maybe you know one in ten, one in twenty comments is you know terrible, and I'll you know delete them or if they're really bad, you know ban or something. Like any any instances of like blatant trolling, uh, I tend to just remove. So first comments that are just completely insubstantial, just like first comment. Meow. Yeah, those you you get a perma ban for those, so don't do it. Uh, I've issued several warnings, and I really just uh, I, I can't be arsed to give even a second chance to people who do that because it's just vomiting in the comment section. And if you vomit at a party, you're probably gonna get thrown out. You vomit in my comment section, you're gonna get thrown out. Um, if you're like super excited that you like will be the first person to memorialize my video with your thoughts. Maybe make a real comment, you know? I, I read every one of my comments. That's part of the reason I ban first commenters, because, like, you know, people who post first, not, like, the first person of comments on every video. But the reason I get rid of those is because, like, I read every one of my comments, so, like, it really does bug me when I have to read a bunch of stupid garbage. And, like, I want my comments to be a nice place for people to discuss the game, to chat about Parker or whatever. So if you crap up my comments, you're going to be gone. That's that's really all there is to it. So, if you see a video without any comments and you want to post, by all means, say something about the game, say something nice, say something that literally any other person would have any reason to read whatsoever. I don't think it's that hard. I don't think it's that hard. So, yeah. And for anybody who got banned for posting a first comment, I don't I don't really do unbans. So just <laughs> take that knowledge and be a better person. That's that's really all I can give you. Just go out there and troll no more. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, and to those who leave good comments, which, like I said, most of my comments are good. Uh, thank you so much. I Everybody says YouTube comments are total garbage, blah, 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 and, like, never read the comments. I don't want to be a channel where people are afraid to read the comments. Uh, I want you to read the comments and feel like, you know, you can have a discussion here. You can ask reasonable questions. You can say reasonable things, and nobody's going to be a psycho. Nobody's going to, you know... Troll. This is this isn't 4chan. That's been. If I have one rule on my Discord, on my streams, on my YouTube, this isn't 4chan. So, just keep that in mind. And if you don't know what 4chan is, that's that's for the best. That's that's for the best. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for this week. Looking forward to the next Abyssrium event. So I have some reason to update the guide. Honestly, I enjoy updating my guide more than I enjoy playing Abyssrium. So if there's no reason to update the guide, I don't really have any fun in the game. Hi, Parker. We really need... By the way, I have a patron goal for... We can get Parker cam. Uh, I'll buy a webcam. I hate webcams. And I, I won't do face cam. But what I'll do is if we hit $200 a month on Patreon, which we're only 40 bucks away from, um, I will buy a webcam... And we will, you can see Parker as he disrupts all of my streams and walks on my desk and rubs his face on me. So that'll be fun. If you're not familiar with Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash or just, you know, it's a 
crowdfunding basically kind of thing where you can pitch in even just a buck a month to a creator that you like and be like, hey, I like your stuff. Have some months. And you can also get rewards and stuff. Um, there'll be a link to that in the description. There's a link to that in the description of every post of mine. I also added the comment policy, which is basically don't post first comments. <laughs> that's basically my comment policy, but that's in the description of all my videos. I, I put stuff. You know, you can read the description of my videos. I think, I think the descriptions are very underutilized, but um, I try to put all the pertinent information in there. So uh, take a peek at that if you never have. And otherwise, have a good week. I'll try to keep these weekly. Maybe yell at me if I don't. My plan is to record one of these Sunday and po post it out every Monday. And uh, I've been, I'm, I just kind of took the, the weekend here to relax. But um, I'm hoping to get back to like regular video on demands, you know, regular uploads um, in the absence of streaming. So probably get a bunch of those ready pretty soon. Hi, Parker. Yes. Uh, I got a bunch of games to check out. I always do. So I'm sure there'll be more videos in the future. I just kind of needed to take a break after just... <laughs> when live streaming doesn't work, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. And it's a shame. So... Yeah, I just kind of needed to take a break from Mediacom just sucking. Yes, hi, Parker. Parker really wants attention. So I'm going to wrap this up here. And uh, see, see you next video, everybody.